Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs House. Welcome back to another episode of me reacting to the scary story animations. I have actually some really good ones for you all in today's episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First video of today's episode is a Peppa Pig horror movie parody, and that's a tongue twister. I can't even say that five times fast. But it comes from a channel called The World Is Ending and I'm Late For Work. That is a dope name, but let me shut up. I like figure this. Out what this it's very grown up. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I think it might be broken. Peppa, George, come home, please. Peppa, mummy doesn't sound very happy. God damn, do they believe in toothbrushes where they're from? Do they own some Colgate in the wild? We best hurry then. I guess they do because at least the other one has teeth, even though they're yellower than April O'Neil's raincoat. You know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Peppa. George, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but Grandpa Pig has passed away. What? What happened? Oh, we're still not sure. He got into an altercation with Granny Pig, and she was only defending herself. What's an altercation? I like how they all speak perfect British English. And this Harry Potter looking ass pig is like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but what were they arguing about? Apparently it was over nothing. He just got very angry. Wait, hold up. Do they all have eyes and mouths on the sides of their faces in the cartoon? That is disturbing. D Daddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Let go. <laughs> Let go of me. Stop. Stop it. Stop causing trouble. Just let Daddy Pig consume your skin. What? Stop your protesting. We must consume you, darling. Oh! What did you do? He just turned red. You disobedient little shit. But what have you done? His warmth was in their flesh, George. An offering had to be made. Jesus Christ, I'm seeing that in my nightmares tonight, bro. <laughs> I'm waking up at three in the morning. I'm going to take a piss. And then I look up and I'm seeing that face looking back down at me. Not in that weird way. Oh, you got me fucked up. <laughs> this isn't you, Peppa. George, I don't know what's happening. We need to leave. I am not going anywhere with you. We're not safe here. I need you to trust me. Okay. I trust you. So they went to outer space? I mean, it is what it is, right? And who the hell is that supposed to be? I'm not familiar with, like, the Peppa Pig lore, so... Who the hell is this freaking random octopus slowly swimming towards Earth? This is one of the Move weirdest faster, things I've seen. George. And not Peppa, just this week. Why are you being like this? Be not afraid, George. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. I don't understand. You're my little egg, George. Wait, there's actually a continuation to it. Hold on. Hold on, hold Peppa, on. I don't want to die. It's too late, George. His presence is already here. We have to do something, Peppa. The parents have already gone, George. Good Lord. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. His warmth is already in your flesh, George. But I feel cold, Peppa. Peppa, please, I'm scared. I don't... The offerings have failed. It's better to burn out than to fade away. What the fuck? There's actually a Rugrats Phil and Lil's horrible secret from the same person? I need to see Willie that. And I would like to Rugrats play used to be the shit. Philip, you know we're not allowed. And even if we want to, the door is locked. I'm not even kidding, everybody. That looks like both of my balls with eyes, a nose, and a mouth on it. I'm not even kidding. Like, it looks like it has the same texture. That is weird as hell. Those oh, look like my almond-shaped nuts. Do? I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, look at the little hairs. 
That's my balls. They were born during a great time. A few years ago, we were visited by the Sandman. He brought with him many new ways of thinking and radiated many new possibilities. Okay, I'm assuming that the Peppa Pig and this video are from the same universe because I think that squid thing was flying towards Earth in the other video, Until right? one day when he just vanished. Oh, we have just Mother. Mother. Mother may not work as hard as we have one stomach. Release me from Deborah. I grow tired of her synapses. Don't shut up, Christmas! Mumson is my turn on the kidney! Wow. Oh, Philip, how do we stop him from fighting? Hold on, give me a sec. Say hello. Mommy. <laughs> say hello. Say hi. Look, say hello. Hello. Can you show everybody your sharks? Sharks. So that was the Phil and Lil one. There's actually a SpongeBob one? Okay, hold up. I just one more. I'm going down the rabbit hole of this guy's channel. And damn, Pat got that back. Pat got that back. Double cheek, my boy. Oh my god, double cheek from the front and double deed in the front. I would like some caviar, please. What's up, Mace? Hi. Daddy, there he is. What's up, Mace? Starfish. Yeah? Starfish. Yeah. Starfish. It's a starfish. You want to see the starfish? Eh? Here, starfish. look, 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 look. Whoa. Starfish. starfish. I would like some caviar. Wow. Starfish. Uh-huh. Interesting, huh? What's that? What's that? Sponge? Is that a sponge? Oh my goodness, that's creepy, huh? Whoa! Did SpongeBob have some hairy cankles? What is he doing? Okay, Mace. This is weird. This is nightmare fuel. You need to go now, okay? Next video of today's episode comes from I Am Our Scary Tales. It's a Chipotle horror story. If you want a scary Chipotle story, just go in, ask for a double steak bowl, and look at the price. <laughs> it sounded funnier in my head, but once I said it out loud, I was like, cornball. But anyway, let me shut up and let's see what this is about. My grandson introduced me to I Am Our Scary Tales a few months back. After watching their content for a while, I finally feel this is the best platform to share my story. Okay. I am Ruby Lerman, currently 63 years old, oh, living nice. in Florida. My husband died four years ago, so it's been just me. Dead ass. I'm okay. one of those few older people who are reluctant to succumb to a boring life just because we're aging. This incident happened two days before when I went to watch a movie. The movie ended around 8.30 p.m. I was driving along the empty streets, thinking about where to go for dinner. Empty streets at 8.30 p.m.? Where the hell do you live? When I noticed the Chipotle on the side of the road. Hey, shout out Chipotle! I've never had Mexican food before, so I parked my car to give it a try. You know what? Just get a bowl, maybe some chips, a little salsa, put some Tabasco on there. Your butthole's gonna be on fire in like 45 minutes, guaranteed. The guaranteed Chipotle for a good outlet time. had been there for the last few weeks. There were very few cars in the parking zone. I didn't ask. Once I walked into the restaurant, it shocked me to see how empty it was during such peak hours. Why the hell is there a glass of wine with Chipotle? Two truckers that. were eating at a corner table. Right in the middle of the restaurant sat a man dressed as a big red chili. Who the f- Who is that? Someone come get their freaking mans. Why is somebody dressed as a giant chili at Chipotle? That's like going into Kentucky Fried Chicken and dressing like a human-sized shit. And yes, I don't like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sue me. His funny Popeye's costume all the way. Popeye made me game. laugh, and he noticed me right away. Whoa, look at those kissable lips. What's up, baby girl? Stare. The moment our eyes met, he let out a big smirk. Bro is so high Thinking right now. he was just being polite, I smiled eyes. back too. I went to the counter to order. The boy at the counter looked at me with a disinterested face and said, Welcome to Chipotle. May I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> this guy so does not want to be there. He's like, Welcome to Chipotle. What can I get your old ass? <laughs> um, hi. I will 
have a chicken burrito bowl with a berry agua fresca. Uh, we don't have berry. Uh, we can do mandarin. Fine with me. Please take your seat. Your will be right up. Mandarin? I went to take a seat and What's saw that? the truckers leaving the restaurant. It was now me and that Chipotle mascot. Seeing me waiting for my food, the man got up and came to my table. And he said, hi, welcome to Chili's. He was really tall and had big eyes like a night owl. Good evening. Good evening. I'm guessing you too enjoy eating alone just like me. <laughs> Raise your hand if you didn't expect that voice just now. Yeah, kind of used to it now. Loneliness becomes a constant companion when you're old. But you have me here. <laughs> I can keep you company till you enjoy dinner, if you want. Maybe this isn't an ideal situation today, but back in my day, we were taught to be nice to those who were nice to us. Yeah, but they haven't done that since the 1800s, so shut your old ass up. Without doubting their intention. I know that sounds risky, but that's how I was brought up. So out of my humble gesture, I thought about what harm could come from chatting with this man. I was going to eat alone anyway. Sure, I'm okay with that. Oh, great! You are so kind. The man pulled up a chair from the next table and sat beside me. His odd red chili costume made it pretty difficult for him to sit down, but somehow he managed. I wasn't sure about his age, but he seemed younger than me. So how long have you been working at Chipotle? He's like, Chipotle? What's that? Not long. I always wanted to be a Chipotle mascot. Really? Yeah, isn't the costume amazing? I mean, look at this big red chili I'm wearing. Look at this big red fuck that I don't give. <laughs> yeah, right. You're very funny. What? No, I was being serious. You really should try out this costume, Grandma. Only then you will know. Bro called her Grandma. <laughs> Even though I was old, I surely wasn't the age of this man's grandmother. Stop the cat. But to not make a big deal out of his sly comment, I kept my calm. The food got delivered, and I began to eat. What kind of While I was eating, that? this man kept watching me. Every bite I took, he just stared at me. And I would have just taken that hoe to go. Very disturbing way. To be honest with you. Seeing me concentrating on the food, the man spoke. You must be really hungry, no? That doesn't even look like Chipotle. That honestly looks like belongs in a trash. Yeah. Well, it's dinner time. Sorry, I didn't ask your name. I'm Cam. Eyes and ears of this place. <laughs> I'm Ruby. So, Ruby, are you single? What? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I have a thing for older women. <laughs> now, the man started being outright creepy, and I realized what a huge mistake I'd made by telling him to join me. Trying my best to avoid any trouble, I replied. I appreciate your attention, Cam, but I don't have a thing for younger men. Oh, come on. This is probably the best thing that could happen to you at this age. Embrace the opportunity, Ruby. He slightly leaned over to my side and placed his hand on mine. Honestly, I would have been like, I don't have a thing for younger men, but I have a thing for pulling out this strap in my purse. So what are we doing tonight? I was stunned to see his audacity. I moved my hand away Good and job, said, Ruby. I think I've had enough company for tonight. It'll be better if I finish my dinner alone. I went back to eating, thinking my loud and clear rejection would drive him away. If only I had known the creeps nowadays don't budge so easily. He got up from the chair, holding a pissed off face, and then gave me an ear to ear smile, saying, don't be like this, Ruby. We were just becoming friends. Look, you six foot chili wiener. What did I just hear? Look, you six foot chili wiener. That is definitely one of the roasts I expect a 63 year old woman to say. Look, you six foot chili wiener. Like, I would honestly take that as a compliment. Like, yeah, my chili wiener is six. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to stop being dumb. I'm sorry. I don't want to be your friend, so leave me alone. Am I clear? Crystal, That's a dope line, though. Ruby. And stop calling Six me foot Ruby, chili wiener. jerk. Even though I insulted him, he still didn't go away, but stood there, watching me with his creepy eyes. What is your problem? I'm just thinking. What? What is there to think? I just told you. 
I wonder how spicy you would have been back in your day. <laughs> what the heck? Excuse me? Enjoy your food, Grandma. Saying this, he pushed the table a little, and it spilled my beverage, making a mess of my food. At that point, I had had enough, so I got up to complain about this guy. Seeing me walk to the counter, the man quickly left the restaurant. I called out to the Chipotle employee, who was busy in the kitchen. Hello, you there? <sighs> what is it? That man is disgusting. How could you guys hire someone like that? No wonder this place has no customers. Wait a minute. Oh, what are you talking about? Your stupid mascot has no respect for older people. Where's your manager? I want to report this man. But we don't have any mascot in the house. Uh, that man came in on his own. Our restaurant has nothing to do with him. Oh my god. I grabbed the nearby chair, nervously. So this man was not only a creep, but a liar as well. Are you expecting me to be like, oh, what a twist! Oh, what a twist! Oh my goodness, what a twist! What a Chipotle chili twist! No, fuck no. I knew that dude wasn't working there. They don't have Chipotle chili mascots. I go to Chipotle a lot, and I've never even heard of them having a mascot. Damn well not a six-foot chili wiener looking mascot with freaking spaced out yellow piano key looking teeth. You got me fucked up, Grandma. Maybe back then in your day they had mascots, but nowadays we just get our food, pay the ridiculously high inflated amounts, and we go about our day, all right, lady? That's what we do. The fact that he casually dressed know what up a as twist a Chipotle here. mascot There's no twist. and came to pick up older women here made my skin crawl. I couldn't finish my meal and with trembling steps came out of the restaurant. It was 10 p.m. already. As far as my eyes went, I couldn't see that man anywhere. I quickly walked to my car and as I noticed the driver's side window, my stomach dropped. The window was shattered. There was broken glass all over the seat and dirty blue underwear. What the f what the act that that's what a twist worthy. That's what a twist worthy. This dude had on granny panties. He was resting on the steering wheel. That's the only thing that I Just didn't expect. Then, I heard a crazy giggle from the other side of the road. It was that crazy guy. He was standing on the sidewalk and waving at me with a big evil smile. That's it, psycho. I took out my phone and dialed 911. There's no way I'm driving home with his dirty underwear. <laughs> he realized I was making a call to the police. And he so ran. he yelled my name. Ruby! It was nice meeting you, my darling. <laughs> you know his breath is hot. I could smell Saying that breath this, from here. He lifted his left hand and licked his palm, taking out his big tongue. The way he made this awful gesture while staring at me made me feel unclean. I wanted to dig a hole right there and bury myself in it. He disappeared into the woods after that. All right, well, that was pretty freaking ridiculous. We're going to check out one more video of today's episode. This comes from ACM Official. It says, don't look in the mirror with your ugly ass. I may have added a couple words that don't actually exist in the title, but it is called don't look in the mirror, so... Let's see what happens when you actually do. Because what fun is a horror video if you do exactly what the title of the movie is telling you not to do? Free mirror. <laughs> I love dramatic shit. Because <laughs> I'm dramatic too. Free! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, mirror. A real reflection. Looks like you're coming home with me. Yoink. I would have done the same thing. Full body mirror. Yoink. I mean, it's not really a full body mirror. Unless you're like five feet tall. Look at me. Oh, crap. Okay, she's possessed. Look at me. Yeah, I guess 
the mirror's possessed. Because she's been brushing that hair for like damn near six hours now. Shit went from lunch to dinner to breakfast. Okay, come on now. We hungry. Never mind. Just brushing hair one side too. We don't care. Let's get it. What in the world? She doesn't have any roommates? Oh, she does. Hey. Wait. I was worried about you. Why aren't you answering my calls? Lauren? Lauren. Hey, I'm talking to you. Lauren. Wow, skills. Mom? What are you doing here? I've been calling and texting you and you haven't responded. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Then why have you been ignoring me? I haven't. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at me. Don't tell me they're both gonna be brushing hair. No. Really? So Beautiful. Okay. Weeks later, <laughs> bro. Weeks later. Imagine it's two skeletons brushing each other's heads. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Come on, two skeletons. Two skeletons just looking in there. Please, for me. Make my day just one time. Just one time. Oh, crap. And the flies. It's always the flies, too. It's weird. Like, my dog takes his shit outside, right? And then all of a sudden, like, three flies are on that thing. Like, where did they come from? All right, everybody. But that's going to do it for me reacting to these scary story animations. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.